As you can see, I have a drop down list here. When I click on it, I get list of all customers. To find one, I have to scroll down and find the name. I am sure many of you already know how to create a drop down list with the help of data validation list. If not, you will discover that too in this video. But what's interesting is that we can even make this list searchable. If I type in MAR and click on this arrow, we will get only the customer whose name contains MAR and it doesn't have to be in the beginning of the name, it can be anywhere in the name. If I remove the text here, the list becomes default. Today in this video, you will learn how to create this kind of searchable drop down list and that too without VBA macro programming. So stay tuned. Hi, I am your tutor and welcome to my channel learn in 5 minutes. So let's start. As you can see, here in master sheet, I have list of customers and their location in the adjacent column. In our form sheet, we just have labels right now. For convenience purpose, instead of switching between the sheets, we will first work in master sheet and when our legwork for searchable dropdown is considerably done, we will plug in our form. For creating searchable dropdown list, we are going to use only three functions that is search, is number, and filter along with data validation list. Now let us consider cell E1 as our text area for a moment where we are going to type and search. So let me type some text here. Next we will use search function to find if text in E1 is available in our customers list or not. Equal to search we want to find the text E1, comma, and our range A2 till A32 and close parenthesis. So we can see here wherever the text was available, search function gave us the location of the text in that customer name. And where it wasn't, an error was written. But we just wanted to know whether the text is there or not, that is true or false. So what we will do here, we will wrap this search function in is number function like this and now we got what we wanted since now we have true and false let us fetch the customer instead of true and ignore the false to do this we will wrap our is number function in filter function our array here will be list of customers from a2 till a32 comma and we already have the include argument comma and in the last argument we need to specify the value to return if the result is empty. So we will type customer not found and close parenthesis. So now we have only the list of customer that has text am in their name. Optionally, we can wrap the entire formula with sort. This will sort the result alphabetically. We could have even wrapped this formula with unique if our result had duplicate records. But since we have all unique records, we don't need this. Now we will move to our form sheet and select the cell B2 and open data validation by going to data and data validation. Alternatively, you can even use the shortcut alt AVV. Change this to list and our source will be the first cell where we wrote our formula followed by hash. The hash key will help us to dynamically include all the cells below which are part of our formula. Then we will go to error alert and uncheck show error alert so that when we type partial name and leave the cell the data validation doesn't throw error and click ok. Now we can see list of names that contains the text am here but this is still linked with cell e1 in master sheet. Now let us unlink this e1 and link it with our cell b2 in form sheet and we are done. Now let us check if this is working or not. Well, this is working perfectly fine. Now we will need to convert our data range to excel table so that when we add new customer here, it will automatically get included in our formula. The final thing remaining is to get the location of the customer. For this, we will use filter function equal to filter our list of locations from B2 till B32 comma list of all customers from A2 till A32 equal to the customer name in our form comma blank if empty and we are done. Now let us check 
if this is working or not. Even this is working perfectly fine. So finally, we have our searchable drop down list. So that's all in this video. If you found this video useful, please like and share with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do it right now and press the bell icon besides the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.